and descending order. Ascending order means from small to big and descending order is we have to arrange the numbers from big to small. This we have been doing since prologue. It is just a recap, but here the numbers will be bigger. So we are because we are in a bigger grade, higher grade. So the numbers will become bigger. But the rule remains the same which we have been doing it since years. For example, there is a number 1473, comma 89,423, comma. 100, 5000, 310. Now in ascending order, we have to arrange the numbers from smaller number to bigger number. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers given to us. First we will find which is the smallest of all the numbers. See, this has 4 digits. This has 5 digits, this has 3 digits, this has 4 digits and this has 3 digits. So obviously the number with 3 digits will be smaller and rest will be bigger. But here in this case we have 2 numbers with 3 digits. 100 and 310. So obviously 100 is bigger so the ascending order will be a uh, hundred is smaller sorry hundred then the next number will be 310 we have covered the numbers with three digits now again there are two numbers with four digits 1473 and 5000 so 1473 is smaller than 5000 we will write first the smaller number then the next number will be 5000. And obviously the number with 5 digits is the greatest of all. So it will be 89,423. In this way we have arranged the numbers from small number to big This is ascending order. One more example of ascending order. 5,490, 1,250, 985, 8,000, 1,457. Now here again, first we will see how many digits are there in each number. 5,490 has 4 digits, 1,250 has 4 digits, digits. 985 has 3 digits, 8,000 has 4 digits and 1,457 has 4 digits. So by arranging in ascending order, we have to go from small to big. So obviously the number with the least number of digits is the smallest and that is only one number I think 985. So that is the smallest number. But remaining all the numbers have four digits. So we will compare. This the first number is 5. The here the first number is 1, 8, 1. So I think 1 is the smallest. But again we will compare these two numbers because both have 1 is the first number. So 2 and 4. So which one is smaller? 2 obviously. So 1, 2, 5, 0 will be the next number. Then will be 1, 4, 5, 7. Then we will compare 5, 4, 1, 9 and 8,000. So it is 5,490 is smaller than 8,000. So in this way we will arrange the numbers in ascending order. Now descending order, big to small. One example I would like to give 3, 9, 
five four three thousand five hundred forty nine three thousand nine hundred forty five three thousand four hundred fifty nine three thousand five hundred ninety four here all the numbers have four digits this has four digits this also has four digits four digits four digits four digits in descending order we have to see the biggest number first which number will be biggest so start comparing here 3 3 3 3 all three at once please first place sorry we will take second Here it is nine. Here it is five. Nine, four, five. So obviously nine is biggest. But two numbers have nine in it. Three thousand nine hundred fifty-four and three thousand nine hundred forty-five. The first two numbers are same. So let's see the third number. Five and four. So obviously five is bigger. So this is the biggest of all. Three thousand nine hundred fifty-four. Then comes. Three thousand nine hundred forty-five. So two numbers gone. Now let's see. Compare the three other numbers. Three, three, three at the one first place. They are same. So move to the next number. Five, four, five. Again, two numbers have five in the second place. So we will compare the third number. Four and nine. So obviously nine is bigger. So this will be bigger. Three five nine four. And next will be three five four nine. And the remaining, the smallest will be three thousand four hundred fifty nine. I would like to give a second example for this. Five thousand three hundred four. The next number is fifty two thousand thirty four. The next number is fifty two thousand three hundred forty. The next number is fifty two thousand four hundred three, and fifty two thousand four hundred thirty. We have to arrange these numbers in descending order. Descending order means from big to small. So first we have to search for the biggest number. Now five thousand three hundred four has four number of digits. Rest all have five digits. This also has five. This also has five. This also has five, and this also has five. All the numbers have five. So obviously. This will be the smallest, and the rest will be bigger than that. Now compare which one is the biggest of all the other numbers. First, we will start from the first number: five, 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 five. Common. Same in every number. Shift to the next number: two, 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 two. Same. The third number: zero, three, four, four. Obviously, four is bigger. Then we will shift to the four number, three and zero. So obviously three is bigger. So fifty-two thousand four hundred thirty is the biggest of all. The next number will be fifty-two thousand four hundred three. Now compare the rest two numbers. Five five is common. Two two is common. Same. Zero and three. Obviously, three is bigger, so it will be fifty-two thousand three hundred forty. And the next number is fifty-two thousand thirty-four. The last, the least smallest number will be five thousand three hundred four. This was all carry forward of form five. There was nothing new in it. but i hope you would have understood in a better way form 5 had smaller numbers whereas we are in a higher grade now so form 6 will have bigger numbers to deal with thank you and have a nice day rugal is complete